What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be teaching you a very, very, very like top tier tip, uh, a very secret tip, seems to be no one knows this, um, about artifacts, and this is going to step your game up, like, a, a lot, uh, a lot of people ask me, right, this is not the flex, because I know somebody in the comments will be like, DS flexing again, a lot of people ask me, yo DS, how do you get artifacts that have... 20 plus crit damage how do you get artifacts that have 26 crit damage how do you get those type of artifacts and um like a lot of people think oh well, i'm just getting lucky no that's not how it, well that is a part of it obviously but you got to realize a lot of my artifacts are god rolls and the reason why those are is, is i'm going to get into that so if you look at like my artifacts this is a god roll this is what you'd consider a god roll crit rate energy recharge elemental mastery crit damage right well crit damage getting rolled a lot this right here is considered a god roll crit rate attack crit damage energy recharge this right here isn't this right here would be almost a god roll i got defense i didn't roll into defense at all though i rolled into crit rate and crit damage and the energy recharge once so attack and energy recharge one time and then all crit damage this right here would be considered a god roll energy recharge attack element of mastery crit damage so like those four stats and like crit rate right if you get like all the four of those out of the five, like that's like godly. But I mean, I have crit rate up here, so I can't get crit rate. But anyways, so the question is, uh, what is the tip? Well, if you guys don't know, there are actually tiers of artifacts. And no, I don't mean four star, five star. I mean, within those tiers are tiers of five star or well of artifacts. Excuse me. Let me explain. So, uh, you see how we have these thunder flowers right here, right? Then you see how we have these thunder flowers down here. The reason why these are down here is because they're in a different tier. And let me show you what I mean. If you look right here, these flowers have three substats plus zero. These flowers down here have two substats plus zero. Now, I know somebody's going to be like, well, DS, what's the difference? I'm glad you asked. Okay, so... Uh, four star artifacts can go to plus 16, right? And then you get a substat or a boost every plus four. So plus, so let's say we plus four this. It's gonna go, we're gonna get one substat. Let's say we plus eight it. We're gonna get one substat. So now I only have two rolls that'll go into the substats since I have to use two rolls to get substats. Now let's say we're working with one of these that has three. Plus four, I get a substat. So now I have three rolls that are going to go into a substat instead of having to roll four or four substat. So you get to the five star gear and you see this has three. You look up here. This has four. So this is this has four substats plus zero. So if it has four substats plus zero, because you can roll a five star five times, right? It goes plus four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Now. If you get a artifact with four substats, all five of those rolls will go into the stats instead of going into getting a stat. Like I, I hope y'all understand what I'm saying, right? Uh, if you look at if you look at these down here, since there's three substats, getting to plus four isn't going to give me an increase on any of these. It's going to give me my four substat. But since this one has four, getting to plus four is going to increase one of these substats right so the good so how you get god rolls or really good rolls like that is whenever you're farming artifacts or getting artifacts if it already has three or four substats that are amazing then you can roll into it and see if it gets a really good one right so if you look at my my artifacts um this one this one started out with energy recharge attack and uh elemental mastery and then I rolled it, right, to plus four, and I got crit damage. So then I was like, all right, well, I'm keeping it. So then I just maxed it out. So this one already had three of the four stats that I wanted. So I rolled it to plus four, I got the four stat, and then I kept it. Um, rolling to plus four and then seeing if it's going to be a, a really good piece is, is, is really beneficial for you, right? If you, look at, if you look at my gear, I have a lot of... Um, I have a lot of artifacts that are plus four. Now, some of them I fed, some of them I didn't. So if you look right here, plus four, I had defense, crit damage, attack, 
and then I wanted to see what I got here. If I got like crit chance or L, you know energy recharge, whatever, I'd have probably used it. But since I got defense, I didn't. If you look right here, I had HP crit damage crit rate. I wanted to roll the four slot, see what I got. Elemental mastery. This is pretty good, so I equipped it. I can use that. Look right here. I had crit rate, attack, energy recharge. If I got crit damage here or elemental mastery, god roll. I ended up pulling defense. I'm still going to use it though because I have three out of four stats that are amazing. So like I've, I've already started rolling plus four in some of these three substat pieces to see if I could get some god rolls going. Um, now I can choose to max it out or I can choose to feed it. I'm going to max these out. I'm going to keep this one just because I don't have any uh, gladiator feathers. But once I get a better feather, I'm probably going to feed this into it. So that's what I'm doing for that. But yeah, you guys definitely need to make sure as far as what artifacts you're farming or whatever. And I know some a lot of you guys are not AR-40 because you don't really go into artifact farming until AR-40. But even before AR-40, right, listen up because I know some people are going to say, oh, well, he, some people probably already left the video. I know people are going to be like, oh, well, he's only talking about AR-40 players that are farming artifacts. No, this is for everybody because you can get high tier four star pieces as well, right? If you look at the four star four star gear you see these these right here that have three like look at this i know this has energy recharge as a base but imagine i rock this on bennett right godly amazing right the only reason why i'm not rocking this on bennett is because i'm rocking another one on bennett this right here which is the same thing basically it just doesn't have attack but like literally so i roll this right say i roll this and i get elemental mastery godly piece for bennett uh energy recharge is really amazing on him but yeah you see i got you got three substats and then you look down here and you got two those three substat pieces use those if it has really good substats roll that see what you get i know a lot of you guys probably haven't noticed this and and this is a big difference compared to a lot of people getting five rolls in a crit damage or not getting any rolls in a crit damage people ask me all the time yo how does he have 26% in crit damage, right? Like, look at this piece. How does he have 20% crit damage? How does he have this much? I, I have three pieces. 26% crit damage, 20% crit damage, 20% crit damage, right? This one is not a good piece. And then this one right here is 11% crit damage. A lot of people ask me how I get these pieces of gear. And this is how I'm getting these pieces of gear. This tip is going to change y'all's way of thinking when it comes to artifacts. You need to make sure that you guys are looking at this actively and doing these type of things. So anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys said in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.